Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We come to our very, very last video on the Word of God in your life. And I just wanted to read the scripture and then finish with a final thought. It's the parable of the sower. And I just want to read that to you and then just finish with a little thought. It says in the parable of the sower, On the same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea, and great multitudes were gathered together to him, so that he got into a boat and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell on ground and yielded a crop, some a hundred and some sixty, some thirty. He who he has here, let him hear. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered and said to them, Because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have abundance, but whoever does not have, even when he will, be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you will see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people hath grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and, and hear with their ears, that they should, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for assuredly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see and did not see it and to hear what you hear and did not hear it therefore hear the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in your heart. This is he who receives the seed by the wayside. But he who receives the seed on stony place, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who receives seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the curse of this world and the deceitfulness of riches chokes the word and becomes unfruitful. But he who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, sixty and some thirty. The point of the parable teaches us that when the Bible's sown, when the Bible's sown like the seed in the field, it'll grow on good soil, but it'll grow on bad soil. And on the bad soil, the seed will choke in the end. And the bad soil is Satan's attacks, personal worries, personal desires, will come in and choke the Bible so that it will not grow in our hearts. But if we want the Bible to grow in our hearts, we've got to make sure that we receive it in the right way. With prayer, with the Holy Spirit's help, and with humility, and the Word of God will grow in our hearts and will grow strong in the Word of God. Now a lot of people in the church, especially young people, have doubts. And there are a lot of people on YouTube and all over the place sowing attacks against the Bible. They're attacking the Bible and trying to sow doubts in, in your mind. And your heart is like a field and, and the, your heart has the word of God sown into it as a seed. Now, are you going to let the sceptics come along and put weeds over that seed? Or critics come along and put weed over that seed? Or choke that seed? Are you going to let worries in your life or your personal ambition choke that seed in your heart? Or are you going to receive the seed with humility, with prayer, with the Holy Spirit, and allow that seed to grow? And to nurture that seed? If you've got intellectual doubts and questions about the Bible, don't throw the Bible out. 
because you have these questions. John Wesley was a man who read hundreds of books a year. He read Voltaire and great philosophers of his time. But he was a man of the book. He was a man of the Bible. But secondly, he said, whenever you come to an intellectual question, he said, don't throw the Bible out. Be patient, pray, study, and wait on God, and the answer will come. And that's what I, I, I have found in my own life. I've had many intellectual questions, but I've not turned to the skeptics and gone their way. Because I know that many things in the Bible have been true in my experience. So I've prayed. I said, Lord, I've got an issue here. There seems to be a Bible contradiction there. There seems to be a problem here. And I pray, and I study, and I pray, and I study, and I wait on God, and God deals with that intellectual question. And a lot of young people today, you're being bombarded with these atheists and skeptics putting doubts in your mind, and you're going over to them when you know there are many things true in the Bible, but you're going over to them. I would say... Don't be so hasty. Wait. Pray. Study the word. Study the problem. And wait on God and ask his advice. And in the end he'll answer your question. Alright. I'm going to pray for you now. I hope that's been a blessing to you. I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, teaching today. And I hope that it's been a joy to you and a challenge. So let's just come before the Lord and ask his blessing. Lord, I thank you for the privilege of teaching your word today. Lord, there are many people out there today who perhaps are doubts, full of doubts, Lord, about their faith. Father, I pray that you would strengthen them. I pray that you would encourage them. I pray that you would build them. And I pray that what I've said and taught them today would encourage and strengthen their faith. And I pray that you would guide them and encourage them. And Lord, I just pray that you would bless them. I pray for all those who doubt you today, that they would find you and come to know you as their Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Okay, if you are a Christian and you have intellectual problems and you're really struggling and your pastor's not helping you or whatever, uh, you can Skype me at jason.burns107. Jason.burns107. Jason.burns107 no capital letters skype me jason.burns107 on skype no capital letters in that um, and if you're a christian and you've got intellectual problems you can skype me and i'll i'll try and you can bounce ideas and i can try and help you or point you to some good literature that will help you okay i have been to two seminaries and i know what i'm talking about um, i can help you and i've helped a lot of people uh, with their intellectual doubts and problems okay if you're a skeptic but you're really open-minded really really open-minded and perhaps moving in the direction of Christianity give me a ring on Skype and I'd love to talk to you and, and help you to to move to that full commitment of believing in, in Jesus okay thank you for listening take care and God bless you all